All right, guys, this is Brian for Home Field Advantage. I don't say anything about the NBA playoffs other than Joe Crawford is an idiot. I uh, woke up a little while ago, got on my homepage on Yahoo, uh, clicked on the sports tab, and the story of the day is Manny Ramirez has been suspended for 50 games due to testing positive for using performance-enhancing drugs. The MLB get any worse off. First you've got A-Rod. A big name in baseball. Everyone knows who A-Rod is. Everyone. Admitting to using performance enhancing drugs. Steroids. And now you got claims he's been using them when he was with the Texas Rangers. But now you've got a story out saying that well he's been using them since high school. And now you've got the, another big name star. He used to play for Boston, and a place for LA, and he's a beast. And now it kind of comes clear that maybe this is why. Maybe this is why Manny Ramirez is so good. And it sucks. I mean, I'd honestly like to know how often they test for steroids in the, in the Major League Baseball. Because it's honestly ridiculous. We need to catch this sooner. Like, I mean, come on, guys. Has it really gotten to the point where when one of the biggest stars in Major League Baseball tests positive for an illegal substance and we just say, that figures, a lot of people expect it. And the thing is, I don't. I expect better from these players. I was just shocked and I'm very disappointed. I was reading an article. And a sports writer for Yahoo basically said that we need to stop suspending players for using steroids, HGH, and, you know, illegal substance. Instead of just suspending them, we need to ban them from the sport. And honestly, the more and more this crap happens, the more and more I agree with it. There just seems to be players that are intent on destroying the sport of baseball. I'm actually seeing more and more fans slowly drifting away from Major League Baseball, including myself. I'm starting to get fed up with it. More and more fans are, are slowly drifting away. The only news from Major League Baseball is, has to do with steroids. Honestly, these players are destroying the integrity of baseball, and it's ridiculous. Moving on. Dodgers just set a Major League record with 13 and 0 start at home. Does this story take away from that? Because I, I mean, you know Manny Ramirez is a good part of their offense. So if this is the first time they've tested him all season, he, there's a very good chance he's been using it all season. So that, I mean, to me, that kind of takes away from that record. Because of this, he's gonna lose 7.7 .7 million, which obviously he probably doesn't really care about. That's about a third of his salary. Now, of course, Manny Ramirez claims that he got the prescription from a physician for a personal health issue. I read a statement by the MLB and then the response by Manny Ramirez. From the MLB, the Office of the Commissioner of Baseball announced today that outfielder Manny Ramirez of the Los Angeles Dodgers has been suspended 50 games for a violation of Major League Baseball's Joint Drug Prevention and Treatment Program. The suspension of Ramirez is effective immediately. Now the response by Manny Ramirez. Recently I saw a physician for a personal health issue. He gave me a medication, not a steroid, which he thought was okay to give me. Unfortunately, the medication was banned under our drug policy. Under the policy, that mistake is now my responsibility. I have been advised not to say anything more for now. I do want to say one th other thing. I've taken and passed about 15 drug tests over the past five seasons. He goes on and he apologizes. To the owners and to his teammates, to the coach, the manager, you know, everybody. I mean, he says he's passed 15 drug tests, and I'm sure that's right. 15 drug tests in five years is about three a year, and we're not even a third of the way through the baseball season, so they probably test near the beginning, near the middle, and near the end. That would make more sense. So there's a very good chance he's been taking it since the beginning of the season. LA's, LA's got a good squad, with or without Manny, so... 
Hopefully they can keep out the success until he gets back. My response, anyway, to this is this is obviously bad for baseball. When one of your top stars comes out and misses to using steroids, it kind of makes the, the Major League Baseball, it degrades it. And now that, that was just A-Rod. Now we have Manny Ramirez. The MLB is becoming a joke, and it really sucks. It really sucks how much it's come, becoming a joke. And, you know, he said for a personal health issue, it was, it was medication. Every player is going to say that to try to clear the name, well, honestly. So we, have, we really have no idea. It's pissing me off that he put himself in this situation. Like I said, I'm not a big Dodgers fan. And, I like, when Manny Ramirez comes to town, like, I boo and yell and scream as loud as anyone. But I respect him. When he says the Boston Red Sox, I rooted for him. I rooted for that team. Other than Astros, Boston Red Sox are probably the only team I follow. And to see something like this happen just really sucks. Just, just tell me what you guys think. I don't care what you say. Just leave a text comment and video response. I honestly don't know what else to say about this. Other than I'm completely shocked. And I didn't want to be shocked this morning. I really didn't. Not by, not by something like this. It's unbelievable crap. But. So many marriages out for 50 games. Later.